Hi, I'm Cody DeGalorians. And I'm Alex Giannini, and we're the program managers at the Westport Library. And this is 10 Questions With, short interviews with some of our favorite authors while they and we are stuck at home. <laughs> These 10 questions are with horror master Stephen Graham Jones. Say hi, Stephen. Hello, thanks for having me. So StoryFest audiences will remember uh, Stephen from our Scary Stories panel back in 2019. Uh, and he'll be back uh, with us in September for StoryFest 2020, which we're super excited about. Uh, Stephen's upcoming novel, The Only Good in Indians, has incredible buzz, and it's set for release in May. And since I don't have an advanced copy of that, <clears throat> uh, I will show the two that are closest to my desk, Map in the Interior and uh, Map in the Interior and Mongrels, both books I love. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> We're very jealous of that. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, right. first question, is, um, what project of yours should people grab while they're stuck at home? You know, to read right now, probably those two that Alex showed, Mongrels and Map in the Interior, I would think. Those are the two most recent ones, you know? And Mongrels is werewolves, Map in the Interior is ghosts, and that's got everything covered, you know? <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, what, how about a go-to book that's not written by you that you're kind of relying on right now? Uh, you know, um, I'm reading right now a friend's novel, which I probably can't say the title of. It's amazing. I want to talk about it so badly, but the novel I've got queued up for right when I can, right when I'm free is Amakatsu's The Deep. Um, I just, you know, after watching Underwater with Kristen Stewart back in January or February, which I was really impressed with, I dove deep into underwater horror stuff you know um leviathan deep star six all, all that all that fun amazing stuff so i think the deep is going to completely scratch that itch you know i'm really excited to get to it yeah we talked about yeah, we, yeah oh wow yeah. yeah and she's coming to story fest as well so oh, she is oh, nice. be, yeah wonderful yeah. wonderful what is your go-to album right now my go-to album um what's it called what's it called it's um Oh man, um, I want to look at my phone, but I'm trying to do this with my head. Um, oh, it's it's a band that I just discovered. Um, um, a, someone, a friend sent it to me. Andrea Rogers sent it to me. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? Can I look at my phone right quick? Yeah, of course. All right, all right. <laughs> um, hold on. Not Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. How do I do this? How do I do this? Um, oh. Okay, I can't use my phone well enough when people are watching. <laughs> All right, well, we can fun. move on to. I love that that happened. By yeah. the way, let's move on to. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I've got. To, I'll say my um um widow Paul's no, um album Void. I got that in the last probably hmm. three weeks. I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, how about a go-to movie or TV show? Right now, I just started watching Killing Eve, and it took me like five days to watch the first two episodes because I watch TV so slowly. There's always hmm. like. Like TV is a thing you do when there's nothing. Like for me, I have to get everything else done before I can watch TV, you know? And so there's a lot of stuff to do. So it takes a while to get through a series. Um, but man, I'm really liking it. It's, I like, uh, have y'all seen Killing Eve? Yeah, it's great. Oh, good, good. All right, I'm excited. What about a go-to beverage right now? Uh, right here, man. Can y'all see it? LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I drink way too many LaCroix every day. How about a uh, a go-to outfit in this apocalypse of ours? I, I put my shirt on. This is my favorite shirt. Let me see if I can do this. I've got a desk that goes up and down. I'll show you my shirt. Let's see. Here it comes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah. oh, love it. Love it. Yeah. Now I got to come back up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we have pyrotechnics on this episode. I love it. No, 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 I feel like I'm Kiss. I'm Gene Simmons. And Paul <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, if you can see in the back, like, uh, yeah, we're both giant Halloween fans here. Yeah, yeah. And I've got, I've got Jason pants on. Friday the Thirteenth pants on right now too. So. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> what about a go-to place you'd rather be right now? Um, you know, to tell you the truth. I am most happy, as you can see, right here in my study. Like I've got Galaga, I've got my horror DVDs. Um, what else? I've got com. You can't see them. I've got comic books all over here. Eight tracks. Um, can you see? I've got like there's there's horns all over the ground over here. You know, um, it's just 
this is where I like to be at home with my family. And really it's what I, it, the only other place I really like, really like to be, the two other places are the movie theater and Chipotle. But aside from those, it's this place. How about a, um, what's your go-to time waster these days? Um, probably getting out on my bike and hitting the trail because we do have like stay at home orders here in Colorado, like probably everybody does. But th they said, as long as we maintain six feet of distance between us, we can still blast up and down the trail. So I've been doing that a lot lately. What about a go-to person you'd like to hear answer these questions? You know, I think I'd like to hear Kelly Link answer these questions. She's writing a novel right now, so maybe she's super busy and can't answer questions, but I'd like to hear her, her answers. Uh, and how about a, a go-to nostalgia bomb that brings you to, to a happy place? You know, um, for, for, I thought, I thought it was going to be forever that my nostalgia place was like breakfast club and like all the eighties stuff that I grew up on and definitely slashers. But, um, to tell you the truth, I think my, my nostalgia lately is like band slam and lemonade mouth and that kind of stuff. Because what, what that brings me back to is when my kids were like, you know, like this tall, you know, they were short, they were like seven probably. And we were just uh, finding this amazing fun, like kind of Disney fied version of things on cable television. And that to me is my new nostalgia. I think I want to go back and watch Ned's declassified again, you know, and have kids to watch that watch it with, you know, <laughs> so uh thanks for doing this we really appreciate you taking a little time out of your where yeah. like, your study is kind of where i would maybe would rather want to be right now <laughs> Thank you. how can people find you on uh and like social media and things while they're stuck at home the only social media i'm on is twitter and i'm sgj72 there Awesome. Well, thank you, Stephen. Thank you so much for like hanging out with us for a little bit. Thank man. Thanks for having me. It was great talking. I think we could probably talk all day. Yeah, <laughs> probably yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to check out uh, this and our other conversations or another 10 questions with, you can go to our website, uh, it's westportlibrary.org for this one and all of the other ones that we're doing. So thanks a lot, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you.